Hello and welcome back to PSU's Pico CTF Tutorials for 2018. Today we're doing Key Gen Me 1. This is a bit of a longer problem, but I'll try to go through it fast. Um, we have this program they give us Activate. Um, activate is just taking in a product key. It uses only numbers and uppercase characters, and it returns invalid product key when you get it wrong. So if we look at the assembly code, um, if you go to main, there's this validate key function, and right after it, there's a conditional jump that tests the return value. And if the return value is true, it actually jumps down here and it prints the flag. So let's go to validate key. Um, the be beginning just takes in the input, which was our key that we used. It gets the string length of it, and it stores it in a variable, and also has these two other variables that are initialized. Right here is a for loop. Um, if you look right here, you can see here's the increment counter being added, gets one added to it, and it's compared to the string length minus one. So this will loop through one time for every character, except for the last one, because it's minus one. And if we look at what this actually does, this just takes the first character of our input, and it runs it through an ORD function. And ORD is a built-in Python function that converts characters to numbers. In this case, if we put a breakpoint on this instruction and run it in GDB to test, um, you'll find after a couple tests that um, numbers just return the same number. So if you do order of three, it'll return three. And if you do say order of A, it'll return 10. So it'll just run through the alphabet starting from 10. So A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, and then just goes through. Um, so that's how that works. Um, then what it does is it adds one to it, and it also adds one to the increment counter. Well, it takes the increment counter and adds one to that value, and it multiplies them, multiplies them together. So basically what this does is it takes your input, converts them into numbers, adds one to all those numbers, and then multiplies them by their position. Because if you think about it, the increment counter plus one is just their position. So now if we look at it, it takes that value finally, and it gets the entire sum of it. Now after this loop is done, it has this sum, and this is just a lot of math to do the modulo of 0x24. So it's taking that sum, takes the mod of it, and then here it takes the last character. The last character is actually ignored in the previous for loop because it's going to string length minus one. So now this last character is taken, takes the order of that, and then finally, if the modulo of the sum is the same as the ord of the very last character, it returns true. So now we know what we need for a valid key. So for our first 15 characters, we could choose anything. I'm gonna choose something pretty easy. I'm gonna do all zeros, because if you have all zeros, ord returns zero. And then I'll add one to that. So that'll just be one times the position for every single character. So that would just be one plus two plus three plus four, all the way up to 15. So the sum we now know will be 120. So we take 120 and we take the modulo of zero x to four, you get 12. And 12 would correspond to C according to ORD. So now we have our valid product key. So let's just SSH to the shell, uh, I need my username. Shell 2018, I think. No, sorry, it's 2018 shell. It's on picoctf.com. All right, now we connect to the problem directory. All right, there we go. Now we can run activate and do our valid key, which would be 15 zeros. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and a capital C. And there we get the flag. 